guys, welcome to weekend vlogging. This weekend it's a little bit different than normal. Um, instead of doing three days where I'm like taking you along with me, seeing everything and talking to the camera and yeah, talking to you guys. Um, this weekend was really busy. It was my best friend's bridal shower weekend. So just out of courtesy for everyone who was involved, I didn't, A, I didn't want to have my camera be, you know, only present at the party through my camera. You know, I wanted to be there and interacting with everyone, um, as well as, you know, the other people. I don't know them very well. I just met a lot of them, so they don't want to be on the internet. And yeah, so just out of the privacy for everyone. Yeah, so we just, I just didn't want to vlog that much. But I did kind of put some snippets throughout the whole weekend. Um, sometimes I did actually talk and take you along with me. Other times I just kind of filmed, so I'll put it to music and stuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share my weekend, but still being um, able to enjoy the whole bridal shower weekend um, without having to worry about, you know, is this a good vlog? Is this going to look good? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. finally done I have 24 of each of these so we have mini cupcakes and then the remainder in here and then underneath here and then all in there we have hearts or yeah well cookie hearts I almost was gonna do like either the letters or like the initials or they have like a little logo but then I thought if it doesn't look perfect it's just gonna look silly so yeah, since you can tell my lines aren't always straight, like, or how they're supposed to be, like that's straight instead of curved, and that kind of goes in a little bit extra, I figure this is still kind of abstract, so let's just not do letters. So yes, that's what I'm bringing to the shower for the dessert table. I picked up the champagne glasses that I got engraved for my friend's bridal shower, and oh, they look so pretty, I'm very happy. I found the design online. I did engraved champagne flutes, even though it's not engraved, it's um, like etched or whatever. But I, yeah. Um, and then there was one, obviously, with different names and stuff, and I was like, oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, I'm really happy that looks nice. I mean, I guess the, uh, the alley could have been a little bit more closer together, but that's okay. And then let's see, hopefully, the other one also looks good. Aww, that's so pretty. I'm just watching some Cutthroat Kitchen and we can see which of the dogs missed me the most today. Aww, Molly. The other, well, the schnauzers are playing on the floor. But Molly, did you miss mommy? bridal shower even though it ended at 5 but a lot of people were still there um, so I got to see everyone and then I hung out for about an hour and I got to try on my bridesmaids dress I got I got measured like months and months ago and it came in and so she has them it looks so pretty I'm so excited um, anyways and then I just went home to refresh and now I am on my way to her stagette um, she didn't want anything 
you know, two out there, just kind of more low key. So we're just, it's about 10 of us. We're going out for dinner at one of our favorite restaurants, Prima Strata. It's a pizzeria. And then after that, we're just going over to her house for some drinks and hanging out and talking and stuff. Um, and luckily she lives really close to my house, like two minutes away. So it's really good. I have to make one stop still. I am helping look after my friend's dog. So I'm gonna go walk him and like refresh his water and all that stuff. Um, but the restaurant is pretty close to their house. So I'm gonna go look after the dog, walk him and stuff. Uh, looking as beautiful as I do now. And then go from their house to the restaurant and it'll be perfect timing. So it's just after midnight now and I am home with the girls. It was a lot of fun. We had yeah dinner at Prima Strada Pizzeria. It was so good. They had a there we ordered I think five pizzas and some appetizers and then two of them they made sure was vegetarian for me and whoever else wanted it. And the fungi one, the mushroom one, was so good. If I go there again, I will definitely be having that. It tasted delicious. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, and then we went back to my friend's house and played some games. One of the other bridesmaids order organized a whole bunch of games. Um, so we did that. <laughs> and then we ended up playing Cards Against Humanity. There was about nine or ten of us still left. Um, and it was really funny. So that was our tame bachelorette party night. Um, but it was so much fun. Uh, I never really played Cards Against Humanity before. I'd, I had had the game, but it like... I didn't play it how it's supposed to be. It was only two people, so it was just, let's just make funny things. It wasn't actually like you choose. Anyway, so it was a lot of fun with so many people, some crazy combination. I think I won four of them. And they're all like, what? The quiet girl has the craziest, kind of weirdest combination so bad. So that was funny. It's pretty bad. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'm going to bed now and. Tomorrow, heading over to my friend's house to walk the dog and, and my dog's of course beforehand and then out for over to my other friend's house, the bride's house for a brunch and then we're going out to, I think we're doing four different wineries, we're doing a wine tour. <laughs> so come on, let's go see that tomorrow. This is my friend's dog and at the groomer he goes to they after clipping if you want they can do like some it's like basically like ink tattooing but it's just they put a little bit of ink on them so that's what he has it used to be a paw print but now it just looks oh no, it was a crab it was a crab i can see it's a crab looking at it from this angle now <laughs> that's so cute i've seen other pictures on facebook of the groomers <laughs> it's an interesting concept <laughs> So now I'm on my way to the bride's house first for brunch and then we're doing a wine tour. I think we're visiting four wineries um, in Victoria. So I have just a, well, sweater now because it's not as warm and then just a summer dress on. And some sandals. I think they're just from Target. When we still had Target in Canada. <laughs> All right, I am hungry. It's about 10 o'clock now. Let's eat brunch.
So this is for one of their pear wines. They want to have a pear in the bottle. So how do you get the pear in the bottle? You grow it in the bottle. So yeah, they're just growing pears in bottles. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I'm back home now and it was lots of fun. Um, it's about five o'clock, so yeah, we all were in two cars and we had two designated drivers. Um, so the rest of us could drink and some, I'd never actually been on a wine tour ever. And yeah, I didn't know we have so many really nice wineries in Victoria. So definitely something I'll be doing in the future. And I'm not a huge drinker and a huge wine fan, um, but you get, just get to have small amounts and yeah, you get to taste kind of what you like. I bought one bottle, one that was like a grapefruit one because yeah, I don't, when I go to the store, if I'm like picking up wine for a dinner, I never know really what to get because I know I'm probably not going to love it. Um, but yeah, it was really good. Anyway, so I'm supposed to go out for dinner with Dan tonight, <laughs> but honestly, I don't know if I feel like it. I just feel like ordering the vegetarian Chinese food Lotus Pond and like curling up on the couch watching the finale of Amazing Race. Um, but we made a reservation for seven, so we probably should go, but anyways, I'm gonna see... Oh, hi, shrimps! Hi, baby! Oh my goodness, girls! <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like having a nap. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you drink for five hours. Slowly, because we went and visited three wine tours, or wineries. Hey, Molly Mae! beautiful <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go back inside so I relaxed for a bit and then got ready I curled my hair and I was like oh I should have done this in the morning it looks really cute like this um, but I was busy in the morning and then this is the dress that I'm wearing it's a new dress I got it from Brian's which is like a dress and kind of fancy store fancy outfit store kind of but they also have casual stuff downtown in Victoria um but yeah I like the back oh I can't show you the back I'm not sure if you can see that but it has a cool detail although you don't see it with my hair down um and then I'm wearing hardly ever wear rings but I thought this one was cute uh yeah so now going to meet Dan we're going to the Spice Jammer it is an Indian food restaurant so looking forward to that because I've never been but they have like a big section of vegetarian food so I'm very excited and what is yours? Uh, tikka masala. I kind of thought this was going to look differently, but that's okay. We ended up watching Amazing Race, the finale, and I'm out of those remaining four teams. That was the team that I wanted to win, so I'm very happy. Uh, and then just called it a night. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next weekend. Bye.